before. Uh, freaking why? These freaking easies right here. What is up, YouTube? My name is Caleb, otherwise known as the Bible Belt Picker. First off, I want to thank you for clicking on this video. So what I do is I go to thrift stores, estate sales, yard sales, and I find profitable items to sell and flip on eBay. So this video is me going to Goodwill a couple different days. And on one of the days, as you know, I found these pair of Yeezys. So stick along to the end to see the story and how it unfolds. All right, I have to do a little voiceover here since the music in the store was a little loud. So I found this Peter Millar quarter zip jacket, University of Georgia, go dogs, hoo, hoo, hoo. Anyways, I have already picked this up for six or seven dollars and I sold it for $50. All right, I wasn't super sure about this. It looks like a water balloon launcher. So I looked it up on eBay and it looks like they're going for around 10 to $20. So I decided that it wasn't really worth my time. So I put it back on the shelf. So this ink packet caught my eye. Typically ink does pretty well. After I scan this in, it looks like they're only going for five to $10 range. So even though they will sell quick, I decided to put it back. All right, so I found these three NASCAR toys. They were asking a dollar for each of these. And although typically these do sit a little longer on my shelf, they are small, easy to list, and easy to ship. So I ended up getting these, and I have them listed in a lot for $13. All right, so if you ever find any tins, I always recommend opening them. You never know what you'll find inside. And then, I don't know what I thought this was, but it caught my eye, so I decided to pick it up, and I looked it up, and it was some Hot Wheels toy, and it was not going for very much money. So I, I put it back on the shelf. So this is something I thought may have been worth a little more money. It is a Twilight Saga games and it was only going for five dollars so i definitely was not getting that My heart is racing a little bit because I, as you saw, we found these Yeezy foam runners today in the Goodwill and I wanted to sit on my phone and kind of look up some little things for authenticity purposes before I got on here and was like, yeah, I found real Yeezys and then they were fake and then let everybody down. So. After doing some YouTube videos and some looking online, 
I think that I found a pretty authentic pair. I was looking through at some of the markings that you look for and one of the big things that scared me when I first looked was on the inside of the shoe. It says foam runner, the size US made in China on my shoes. And online it said made, they're supposed to be say made in USA. And apparently that is true. And the only pair that has made in China is the moon gray. I think this is what these are called is the moon, moon something. But I think these are authentic. Uh, I'll have to run them by the eBay shoe authenticity thingy, mobile or whatever that is. So I guess I'll learn how to do that. <laughs> And but yeah, I think I found an authentic pair of Yeezys. He should be worth anywhere from $200 up. So score at the Goodwill today. All right. So See y'all. All right. So it's obviously been a few days since I found these shoes, and I was looking up how to authenticate them for sure. So I did some Google searches. I downloaded the Check Check app, and I sent them in, and they came back. Da, 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 da. they were unable to authenticate them. So I was like, oh, all right, what's up with that? So I, I sent it again <laughs> and it came back unable to authenticate. So I was like, what is up with this app? Why can't they authenticate my shoes? Just tell me if they're real or fake. So I sent it him one last time. And again, they came back unable to authenticate. So then I was like, all right, let me just throw them up on eBay. So I actually made, I put them on eBay. I listed them for 250 and whenever you list a shoe i think it's over a hundred dollars they just automatically you'll get that little blue check mark that once you once someone buys them they you actually send your shoes off to the authenticators i'm not sure where at and then they will authenticate them if they're real they'll send them to the buyer if they're fake they'll send it back to you and you have to refund the buyer and it's just a big mess so I had the shoes up for maybe 24 hours. I actually got an offer of 195. So I denied the offer and I ended up taking them down. I was like, you know what, let me let me just double check. So I hit up one of my friends who is a, uh, who's into sneakers and I asked them which were some good uh, shoe stores in Atlanta that I could run in and see if they would authenticate these. So I found a store and I will cut to that video right now. Hey. Hi. <laughs> so the only thing that throws me off on those is the the lettering on like it just looks a little bit off. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, yours Look. is one size up, but still, like, it's not. And this. Yeah. I mean, I bought them for seven dollars, so. Se yeah, <laughs> babes. These may not be. Look, the holes are different. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. They feel the same, like. Uh no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well. Oh well. I mean. I'm out seven dollars, so. Yeah, they were only seven. <laughs> yeah. Almost a good fake. <laughs> not quite. Darn it. Well, they're not the 250 I was looking for, though, but. <laughs> it's cool. Almost. But almost. <laughs> I guess why they that's, guess why they were at the Goodwill then. Yeah, <laughs> but they're not bad. You can probably get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you so much. All right. So the verdict is out. My shoes are indeed fake sad story my six dollar investment is now worth well it's probably worth something but <laughs> i can't sell them on ebay so all right if you enjoyed this content at all please hit that subscribe button it really helps me out a lot and until next time take it easy stay safe and here is megan with the verse of the day hello it's my favorite part of the video which is the verse of the day Today's verse is Colossians 3, 12. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, 
clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week.